Hey, hi, and welcome to the 5 Minutes Friday. In this 5 Minutes Friday, I'm going to explain to you how I weather this shed. So, stay tuned. So, before we start weathering, we need to mask a couple of things. In this case, all the windows of this build. Just a regular painter's masking tape. And you take your hobby knife, the pointed one, and cut them. Looks easy. I think it is easy. So in the same way, <laughs> when it goes okay, we mask all the windows. And then start adding the first color. I use uh, an IDF Israeli sand from Vallejo as a base color. It's a primer. Just put it in the airbrush, add a bit of thinner, and then start spraying. Well, it's no problem to add these first layers with a brush if you want to and don't have an airbrush. But because I have one on hand, I like to use the airbrush. So I add this paint in thin layers, the basic key when you talk about acrylics and cover the entire building with it. Easy, isn't it? And then the next coat, cemento or concrete. I will write down all the numbers from the paints I used in the subscription here below, but most of them are coming from a Vallejo, Vallejo or somewhat set. And in this case, I start doing irregulars. Not all boards, just a couple of them. With the cemento asbestos, oh no, cemento concrete color. But you see in the video how it works. It's not that hard. And so just work your way around. Like that, you know? can also, again, use a brush if you want to. But please keep sure that you keep your layers thin. Because thin layers are the key point when it comes to acrylics. The next one is sand grey. IDF sand grey also from Vallejo. Well, as I told before, I use uh, colors from a Vallejo set. Or Vallejo, whatever. And for the rest, it's all the same drill, you know. It's just thin it a bit. Although they say it's uh, already spray ready, I always like to add a drop, a couple of drops of thinner. Sometimes a little bit of flow aid depending on the job I do. That's it most of the time. Easy, eh? You can use a, a cart. I like business cards for that. I steal them from everyone. And then the last color, it's a wood. And I don't clean the airbrush in between, just throw in a little bit of and mix and match. You know, spraying light, light passes. And then finally the building looks like this. And then it's wash time. Normally I should grab a dark grey wash from Vallejo, but in this case I didn't have any on hand. So I mix a couple of drops of black and, uh, and grey until I have the preferred color. And add 50% of water, you know, and then start washing. It, it looks like it looks as easy as it is. It is as easy as it looks, you know. After you drain, let it dry. Maybe add a second coat, a third coat, depending on how dark and gray you want it. And then it's dry brushing time. You know, I grab a light ivory or an ivory color and a dry brush brush from the army painter and do the regular trick, you know, dabbing too much paint away and start dry brushing the surface thoroughly on the entire surface until this light color highlights. Yeah, and all the edges, boards and structures pop up. It's as easy as it looks. And then finally it should look a little bit like this. 
well, and this, yeah, this is for the next five minutes. In this case, I will make it a quick one. I will add the next five minutes in a week. So stay tuned for the next one in a week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my content and please push the like button. See ya in the next one. Bye bye.